is the Curious George for the fire department. This is George. He lived in Africa. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George saw a man. The man saw George, too. What a nice little monkey, the man thought. And George even saw the, the man with the large yellow straw hat. The man thought, what a nice little monkey. I would like to take him home with me. So the man put his hat down and of course, George was curious. The hat had been on the man's head. George thought it would be nice to have it on his own hat. So he picked it up and put it on. He looked cute when he put it on. Oh no, the hat covered George. George could not see. The, the man picked him up popped it, and popped George into a bag. George was caught. The man put George on a little boat. George was sad, but still, George felt a little curious. Then things began to happen. The man took off the bag of George, and George sat on a little stool. George, called the man with the yellow hat, I'm going to take you to a big zoo in a big city. You will like it there. Um, now I want to play, but don't get into trouble. George promised to be good, but little monkeys so sometimes forget. George wondered how the seagulls fly. Finally, he had to try. It looked easy. He stand on the, he stand on top of the boat's ring bell and he flapped his hands. Oh no, what happened? First this, and then this. Where is George? The sailors said. They looked for him everywhere. Suddenly, they found him. Struggled in the water and almost tired out. Merm overboard, called the six cried the sailors. They throw him a life belt. George caught it and hold on tight. Now George was e careful to be a good monkey. The, and then the trip was over. After a good meal and a good pipe, suddenly George felt very tired. He curled up in a bed and soon fell asleep. The next day, the man with the big yellow hat called the zoo, ring the zoo. And then the man went away. George watched and went. George was fascinated that he went away. George wanted a telephone too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How fun! Ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling. George had telephoned the fire station. The the fireman rushed to the telephone. Hello, hello, he screamed, but there was no answer. They looked for the, the signal on the big map that showed where the telephone had called. They did not know it was George. They thought it was a real fire. And everybody, do you know who is George? George is a monkey. The man, the firefighter man, rushed to the 
Um, fire car. Hurry, hurry, move the way. Hurry, hurry, ding dong, ding dong. Hurry, hurry, we don't want the house to burn. They w opened the door, but no fire. O only one naughty little monkey. Oh, catch him, catch him, said the fireman. George tried to run away, but he got caught on the telephone wire. A thin fireman got one arm, and a fat fireman got, a, got the other. You fooled the fire department, said the fat fireman. We have to shut you up where you can't do any more harm. Jo then, in the next page, the two firefighters locked George in a present. Jo George was sad. In the next page, George wanted to get out. He went to the other, other one to, to see if that was the way out. S but it was not the way out. It was still inside. Then a watchman came in. The watchman stand on the bed to catch George. But he was too fat and heavy. The bed tipped over and the watchman f fell over as well. And quick as lightning, George ran into the open door. Suddenly, George was lucky to be a monkey. George walked over the guard's head quietly, quietly. He was free! On the fire roof, he, George stood a balloon man. A little girl was buying a balloon for his brother. George was curious. He thought he should have a bright red balloon. Instead of one balloon, the whole bunch of balloons came. The, 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 all of the balloons whisked them away. The next page, George, George looked all over the buildings. The, the buildings looked like toy buildings. And the people looked like dolls. George was frightened. He held on very tight. Suddenly, George felt very tired. Down, down he went. He, he saw, when he looked down, he saw so many people that it was surprised to see George. And someone called, George! He looked down and he saw his friend, the man with the big yellow hat. George was happy. The man was happy too. And the man paid all of the balloons to the balloon man. And all the way they went to the zoo. In the next page, George thought, what a nice place for George to live in the tree. The end.